Okay guys, we're back for another mini lecture on this time language. Now of course, as you probably know, language are simply words. Words in a particular pattern, in a particular code. And I'm gonna sort of use that analogy today to try to explain how language works. So I want you to imagine that you're talking to one person one-on-one, -on -one, and I want you to think about that. Where is the meaning? The meaning are, is not in the words. The meaning is actually in the people because what a word means to me might be quite different from what it means to you. You know, if, especially if it's, a, if it's a broader word, a more abstract word. So I want you to get you, the idea in your head that, that it's a code and we have a cultural code and in different cultures, different words mean different things in different situations. See, it gets really complicated. It's actually a wonder that we actually communicate at all uh, because it's so complicated. So that's the first thing. So think about that. The meanings are in the people. And we're going to come back to that toward the end. Okay, public speaking, if you imagine that one person, public speaking is a group decoding your message. So if I'm standing in front of a group of people speaking to them, not only am I dealing with one set of codes, i.e. the one person that you were talking to before, but I'm also dealing with the codes of the other people in the room. So it becomes just that much more difficult to try to really reach people. So what you have to do is be very specific and very exact in your word choice. And that's what we're going to talk about, as a matter of fact, in lesson two on this subject about word choice and how you go about that. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. So I want you to get that idea in your head that this is a matter of like coding, figuring out what the right word in the right situation is for, for that particular moment. Now, how do, we, how do we know that? Well, we have words stacked up in our brain, our understanding of the culture and the situation in which we communicate, and that's how we build our credibility, our believability in a speaking situation by knowing the right things to say and avoiding, most importantly perhaps, the wrong things to say. And so we're, we're, we wanna kind of set the framework for the second lecture where I really get into the, the nuts and bolts of it a little bit. This is more of just a, sort of like the theory. The last thing I wanna to touch on is just the idea of credibility. This is so huge. The way you use language, the way people perceive the words that you've chosen is a huge part of how they perceive you. And remember, we've talked about this before. You know, the credibility of somebody is how people perceive him, not how he, he or she may really be, but how they are perceived. And so the way you use words leads to that judgment, right? So if I'm ugly and mean and, and hurtful with my words, I come across as ugly and mean. But if I'm measured and careful and respectful with my words, I come across in that, in that fashion. So it's not something to be taken lightly. What we want to try to do here is make good choices and figure out what's the best thing we can do in order to create a positive, clear communication message. And that's what I'm going to talk about in the second lecture on word choice.